Just leave the dog. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a scout. Helix bar or an artifact or oh no is it okay I'll take it did I get the last scroll and didn't not read it all right I'm sorry let's go ahead and read both scrolls I forgot to read the last one Xiao Jun's relationship with Ez Ezio was complicated oh she was everything Ezio had been and wanted to forget about passionate vengeful and fully devoted to the Assassin's Creed the old master and the young woman had arguments and finally they bled together in battle, for the agents of the Tigers had followed Xiao Jun to Tuscany. Yeah, that was in Assassin's Creed Embers. Ezio finally admitted that he could not turn his back on Xiao Jun and agreed to transmit some of his knowledge and wisdom. Impressed by her fighting abilities, he taught her a few tricks and gave the advice only a seasoned fighter could deliver. Finally, he gave Xiao Jun his blessing and let her depart with a gift, a mysterious wooden box which he insisted she did not open unless she lost her way. Are we going to open it at the end of this? Why didn't that cross my mind before? Fuck. What secret, what object of wisdom did the box contain? Xiao Jun had no idea. Xiao Jun returned to China in 1526 and using a network of old abandoned brotherhood safe houses sought out Wang Yangming. She finally found him and told him about her travels, the death of her mentor, and Ezio Auditore. God, that hurt so fucking bad. I think in one of my old vlogs I talk about it and, um, yeah, I, I'm lame, so I recorded myself watching the end because people said it was really sad, and I just assumed that many was gonna die. And um, oh no, it's because I knew he died at the end, and I didn't, I didn't want to see it, but I figured if I was gonna watch it, might as well get my reaction. And I was a fucking wreck. <laughs> up right now you guys probably can't see me all the way up there but like oh my god is it hurt anyway the Chinese master was impressed by the accomplishments of the former concubine he had not seen her since he helped her escape the forbidden city and the young dancer had become a skilled killer not only trained in Zhu Zhu Yuan good god but now also by the Italian legend Xiao Jun created an invention of her own fitting to her cat like agility the Shang Bao or rope dart which she could use to reach high places in the glimpse of an eye or propel a to a target with deadly momentum and accuracy, killing from afar. Can I do that? I think some experimentation is in order. All right, hold on. I'm gonna wait for this guy to walk back to his post. I'm gonna try this. No, right bumper doesn't do anything. Darn it. Oh well, that would have been cool. But I got the scroll. I think the only scroll I'm missing is 12. Eh, go ahead and fucking bark. I'll get that. Thank you. Back up we go. Oh my god, that was close. Oh! And there's number three. Yes. So what the fuck do I do? I love this music. Eh! <laughs> Oh shit. Aha, <laughs> but who are that? See the only Chinese phrase I know. And uh I don't remember what it means, but I've heard it like a hundred bazillion fucking times. Aha but who are don't you? Probably saying it wrong even still. But okay, um I hear an eagle. That means a sink point's nearby. And it's right above my head. Okay, so how do I get up there? Get out of here! Stop having fun in the hiding spot. It's time to work. You can keep. All right, fine. I'll go over here if it makes you happy. Okay. Jesus, Lord Almighty. Oh, it was right out the fucking window. Can I? Oh, I can. My bad. Okay. Eagle sink. There we go. Okay. Now is the final mongol guy around here somewhere okay the last mongol guy isn't until way after so all right Whee! 
I'll take a brawler bronze, I guess. That's probably my, my most common thing I've gotten. It's either assassin gold or brawler bronze. It's either I did good or I sucked. Um, I want to see what's going up here does. I'm looking. Oh, there's an artifact down below me. I don't know what good coming up here does. Oh, it's like a fire station pole! Whee! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Hi there. Okay, um... What do I do now? I guess I just keep going. Oh, there it is. Okay. Still looking for the last guy, but he's way off that way, so... How exactly do I get that thing? There we go. Okay, got it. Now we can keep going. That would have hurt. Okay, um, now what am I doing? Let's find a way inside. I didn't look at my other objective. Oh, right next to it. Alright then. I gotta turn the wheel. Oh wait, can I wrap around this? There we go. Okay, I'm not stuck anymore. God. Fucking. Damn it. Alright, if you want to actually climb up the wall, don't just stand there. Yeah, that's what you get for just standing there, woman. I guess it doesn't work when you kill somebody. Oh well. I used Helix to my advantage! Thanks, Abstergo. Okay. Alright, I got a full bar again. Damn, I'm good. Hello. Ooh! Damn it! Bitch! All right, metal shield guards ain't no thing anymore. Now I know what the fuck to do. Okay. There we go. I heard a door open. Does that mean reinforcements are coming? Okay, time to go back up. Close the second gate. All right. What is stopping them from just sending more guards? Ah, oh, fuck. Ching Chong, Bing Bong. You suck at being a heavy. There. Okay. <laughs> Not the best performance. I realize I haven't been putting my best uh, stealth shoes on for this playthrough, but you know what? I'm just having fun. And that's all that matters. Jesus Christ. Not that, you fucking bitch! Pillars are the most annoying thing, I think. Because you'll do the dodge from one pillar to the other, and she'll sometimes she'll just kind of wrap around anyway, and then you get seen like that. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, if you want to move faster than that next time. Of course, I could have used Helix there. But I didn't. Yeah, I know. Woo! Hoo -hoo! Okay, now where am I going? Is the Mongol in this building? No, he's way... Yeah, he's way over there. Okay. Don't even worry about him right now. What is that doing? Oh, I'm closing the gate. Okay. There we go. Leave the gatehouse. That door is closed. Okay. Jump across the counterweights. Actually, you know what? Just because I don't fucking like you. <laughs> Screw you. Now I do believe I have to go all the way back, but I don't give a shit. You know I will give um 
I think it was GameStop's review. I was talking about this in an earlier episode. Um, that the Game Informer gave this game, what was it, a 7.25? And they said it starts off really strong, but then it kind of starts to wane a little bit. Like it loses its spark by the end. I'll give it that. It does a little bit. But it's still fun. And I still find myself looking forward to India and Russia. But yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Because, um... It feels really cool at first, and then, you know, you start to get used to it, and then it kind of feels... It feels like Mark of the Ninja at this point, which is a game I've already played several times. So, yeah. But it's still a fun game, and I, I like it. This is not gonna end well. Don't hit me with that! What's the point of having a hand cannon if you ain't gonna fire it? Oh, shit. Okay, so the chest is up there. I want it! Thank you. Wah. Wah. Okay. Or not. <laughs> Suck. Alright. Scroll 18. Uh, Wang Yang Ming, the philosopher, told the young woman to see the empty box. Empty box? What, did she open it? As a message from a more experienced man, even if he knew the item to be a powerful and ancient artifact. The box was merely a tool she needed to fill herself. Only this way should she fulfill her destiny. The box was always empty, and Ezio knew that Xiao Jun would have to face her responsibility and accept that only she could decide which path to follow. That path was the one Ezio had taken himself and could not encourage Xiao Jun to follow. Nevertheless, he had seen the rage in the young woman's eyes. Rage, excuse me, in the young woman's eyes. The anger behind the tears. Oh, she cried in front of him? That's so heartbreaking. The tigers would perish by her hand, and on their very corpses a new China would flourish, free from the schemes of the Templar Order. She accepted Wen Young Ming's instructions and to use Ezio's box as bait to lure the tigers out of hiding. Maybe they would know what the box really was. So she did she hasn't opened it yet. Has she? Wen Young Ming is just being all philosophical on her and telling her that it's empty and it's supposed to symbolize finding her own purpose in life. I think. Can I make that jump? Fuck! I did. Okay. Whew! Taking risks. I don't think I need this, but whatever. Okay. Another box? Fuck! I like reading lore. Gimme, gimme. Oh, that was 17. Oh, we went out of order here. I'm sorry. Xiao Jun passed on Ezio's mysterious box to her new master. Wang Youngming was astonished that the girl was offered such a precious item. He knew the box was an artifact of great power inherited from the first civilization that had lived on Earth. She told the, the old man what Ezio had told her, to open the box only if she lost her way. She confessed being torn between the sacred mission to rebuild the Brotherhood and the burning desire to find and kill the tigers who had murdered her friends. Thinking that the box would help her, she opened it, with Wang Young Ming as witness, but did not find anything. An empty box. Was this a cryptic message from Ezio? Okay, so she did open it. I just got these out of order. Okay, but I would assume that that's the same as- it works the same as the box from Rogue. Um. If it's not the same box, it might be, it might not be, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's like, it's empty and you have to have the right equipment, like the right electrical charge in order to get the message. I'm assuming. So technically it is empty, but it, it holds power if you know how to use it and you have the equipment to activate it. Meaning the book, the, the, the manuscript or whatever, and, um... Um, I guess 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> of raw electricity. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 go! Oh. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna be seen. Ah, run! Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm gonna go up. You fuck! Sit down. Ow! Bitch! Right in the toe. How do you feel about that shit? Alright, that's not exactly what I planned. Ow! I should probably move. I should probably move right now. No. 
Sit down. Don't sit. Ow! Can't shoot me from over here, can you? Meh! Yeah, right. Oh, uh, fuck it. I'll leave you. Uh, Helix Bar is full, so I'll go ahead and leave that. Further we go. I didn't miss the, the dude, did I? Yeah, I'm way in the foreground right now. So, uh... Oh, unless... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. No need to worry. 